everyone. In year three, I hope you're doing really well and keeping safe. Another week, which means another video. This week it's coming from me, Miss Holyoke. And let's get straight to it. For English this week, you're going to write a non-chronological report about snow now. Now, we have links for every single day, so Monday to Friday, that you need to click on. And this will take you to your lesson. And I'm going to go through quickly each day now. On Monday, you are going to retrieve information using a non-chronological report. On Tuesday, you are going to explore language questions using a non-chronological report. On Wednesday, you are going to explore the features of a non-chronological report. On Thursday, you're going to have a spag focus based on adverbials and how they are used in a non-chronological report. Finally, on Friday, you are going to write a non-chronological report and this lesson will take you through the steps of this process. Moving on to maths, now, first things first, practice your times tables daily and I am going to set you a challenge. Now, Miss Green, Miss Green, Miss Green, Miss Green and Miss Sakua are able to see your times table rock stars times. Now, I'm going to go through those and I'm going to see if I can beat them. So, we're going to have a little challenge to see who is the quickest at answering your times tables. Hopefully, you will be quicker than me. Now, moving on to the lessons, as you can see, it is set out similar to your English lessons. So, all you need to do is click on the link to get into that lesson. On Monday, you're going to describe part or whole relationship. Hmm. Tuesday, you're going to recognise parts that are equal and parts that are unequal. On Wednesday, you're going to recognise, identify and describe unit fractions. That sounds a little bit tricky, but I'm pretty sure you can do it. On Thursday, you are to find unit fractions of a given quantity. And finally, on Friday, you are going to describe unit and non-unit fractions. Moving on to foundation now. For science, you're going to be looking at pollination. If you click on the link, that will take you straight to your lesson. And you're going to be looking on the life cycle of a plant and pollination. For geography, you'll be looking at biomes. Hmm, I don't think we've looked at that before. But if you click on the link again, this will give you access to a lesson all about them. You're going to learn about different types of biomes, which include rainforest, deserts, savanna, woodland, grassland and tundra. Now lockdown has eased a little, you're now able to see more of your friends and family, which I know has been quite hard for some people. I know I've found it hard. So, you can meet up with your friends in a park or a garden as long as you're keeping to social distancing. For this week in PSHE there are some activities in the folder for you to do with your friends. So maybe you can go and scavenge your hand, make some friendship bracelets, just make sure when you're out and about or with your friends and family you keep in social distancing and you are keeping safe and remembering to wash your hands. Okay, speaking about friends, I have made a new friend. Now this new friend can be considered as a predator because this animal hunts. So I would like you to meet Molly. Say hello Molly. No? Okay. Hello Molly. Say hello. Can you say hello? Say hello to you three. Hmm. <laughs>
Aww. For physical education, you're going to complete the gymnastics challenge this week. You're also going to plan a warm up, which is extremely important to get your muscles ready for any physical activity. So you're going to plan your own warm up and practice different stretches, try some strengthening exercises and maybe do some research all about the gymnastics in Perfleet or surrounding it. For music, you're going to read your favourite story and then consider which instruments could provide any sound effects. So think about the dynamics that you would use. Would it be loud? Would it be quiet? Say for example, I love Harry Potter and in the Philosopher's Stone there is a troll. So maybe for its footsteps, I might use a brick on a bit of concrete or on the grass to try and create that sound effect. Or click on the link below and complete the interactive lesson about Pulse. For reading this week, Again, all your resources are in the folder, and this week is all about Wimbledon and the tennis tournament. Who watches Wimbledon? I sometimes watch it, I know quite a few people do, but do you watch it as well? For Art and DT, you are going to create the ultimate predator. So you are going to design and draw this predator in as much detail as you can. Once you've designed it, you are then going to create it using anything you find around the home. Maybe cardboard boxes, could be plastic bottles, any scrap pieces of paper, and you're actually going to make it. You need to think about the colour, its height, any features. So is it going to have wings? Is it going to have wings? Anything like that. And don't forget the most important thing of all, give it a name. Make sure it's fitting to that animal that you've created. Now, I'm going to show you what I have created. Okay, so here is my creation. Now, keeping my theme of cats, because I love cats, I've chosen the body of a cheetah. Now, I chose a cheetah over a tiger and a lion, mainly because of its speed and agility. A cheetah can go up to 60 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest land mammals in the world. So I chose the body of a cheetah purely for speed and agility. For the fur, I've taken inspiration from a zebra. Now I've not done the black and white stripes, instead I've changed the colours to try and blend in with its natural habitat. So I had a look on the internet. And there's a lot of browns, greens, maybe bits of pale yellow, which maybe I could have used instead of green. But I thought this would be perfect for a cheetah to camouflage and blend in with its surroundings so the prey would have no idea it is there. Now for the hearing, I wanted my ultimate predator to have the best hearing. And the animal with probably the best hearing is a bat. I don't mind bats, can be a little bit creepy, but their hearing is phenomenal. So I thought that'd be great for my ultimate predator. Now for the paws, I have taken inspiration from spider web. Now spiders produce silk, which creates the web. And when something touches the silk, it gets stuck. It finds it hard to come away. So I thought it'd be great that on the paws, that my animal could produce the silk of a spider's web onto its paws so when it grabs onto its prey it can stick and it's harder for it to get off. Now for the mouth, I cannot remember what this animal is called but what it does is it opens its mouth, so I pretended here, opened its mouth and on its tongue there is a worm 
Now it's not a real worm, it's just part of its tongue, but it moves like a worm. So it looks like it's a live worm. So the prey comes in thinking, oh, lovely dinner. But instead, I'm afraid you're the dinner. So I took inspiration from this animal. If you remember know what this animal was called, please let me know because it's driving me mad not remembering what it is called. But I thought that'd be a great asset to my animal. Now I've given it a name, I've called it Spieber. I've taken some of the letters from each of the animal's um, names to create one name. Okay, so I actually did make my model of Spieber, but unfortunately, Molly used it as a chew toy and has been completely destroyed. So instead, I would like you to email me, Miss Kua, Miss Green, your creations. So show us your pictures of your design and then your actual model. That would be amazing. And maybe we can share them out in the next video. Stitch, has Molly been naughty? That's it for me this week. I hope this video has helped you out with the tasks this week. If you still have any questions though, please don't hesitate to contact me, Miss Sakua or Miss Green, at our email address, which is being shown right now. I hope you're all doing super at home, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care.